Guys, what's up? Hey, uh, Miles with Boyer here. You guys, if you're stumbling into this video, buckle up. It's gonna be a little bit of a whirlwind. Hey, in the next few minutes, we are gonna edit a vi uh, photo, I'm sorry, from start to finish uh, using both the new masking tools for Lightroom Classic, as well as uh, one of my favorite kind of creative programs, Luminar AI. It's gonna move really quick. Uh, and so I, uh, I hope that you guys are ready. Hey, if you have questions, comments, anything you'd like to know more about, follow, like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, you guys, it would mean a lot to me to, uh, to connect with each and every one of you guys. I hope you enjoy. Guys, what's up? We're going to get kind of right at it today. Hey, listen, we're going to uh, do an entire edit in about two minutes. This was initially a 12 minute long video, but to save you guys on some of the processing time, we sped it up a little bit. So starting in Lightroom, we're doing some local adjustments using a lot of the new masking features in Lightroom to, uh, to allow us to darken and separate the subjects a little bit. Just creating some universal light and color and texture to the entire file and really prepping it to send it over into Luminar AI where we're gonna do a lot of the, uh, the more creative work. Now listen, having the right file right off the bat is a big, big part of this. We're using a, a GFX 100S for this image. So we've got 102 active megapixels on a large format digital sensor that just gives us a ton of, of material, data, and pixels to work with and play with. All right, so over in Luminar, I am adding some, uh, some sky replacements, some dramatic sky replacement elements. Um, and now just working in masking, making sure that they look as realistic as possible. You'll notice that the, uh, the sun has gotten a little washy, and so here in a second, I'm actually gonna put a new sun back in, uh, change those rays so they feel a little bit more natural. All of this is done fairly intuitively. You can see I'm just using sliders. It's really similar to the Lightroom process, but because of the AI features, it allows you to work really quickly and very seamlessly to, uh, to really create some unique and really powerfully artistic final edits. So then I'm going to kick back over into Lightroom and I always love to do a few more universal edits to the entire image to make sure that anything that I added or adjusted feels like it belongs there. In this situation, we're using the Archipelago uh, Light Leaks presets to add just some texture and overall interest to the file and really kind of pull away from anything that may feel like it's a little imperfect. Give it a just universally beautiful final finish. All right, start to finish two minutes. Hey, for more videos like this, as well as gear reviews, tech reviews, marketing ideas, and all around cool business concepts, make sure that you like, follow, subscribe, all the stuff, and find me over on social media at Miles Whitboyer.